Okay, so this talk about the Sony A6300 or 6300. Now, I recently had the A7S Mark II, which has the five axis stabilization, um, which is good. But when you're handheld on a 50 mil or a 50 mil on a gimbal, if you wanna do something, you're still gonna see those jitters and the rolling shutter. So does it even help you that much? Now, for something that's just under a thousand pound and does a better image slightly because you're downscaling from 6K to 4K and you still got slow-mo, all you're really missing is the full frame and the five axis. And in my opinion, go for this guy. I mean, the A7S II is still good, but if you want something on a budget that's amazing, I kind of prefer this. And I kind of prefer Super 35 anyways. So, um, and LUTs, if you, if you struggle with grading, I got my LUTs for S-Log2 and S-Log3, but I still don't recommend shooting S-Log3 on these cameras because of the 8-bit. So S-Log2 is good. Obviously, you got picture profiles in here. If you don't want to grade, which work good, um, like picture profile six and put it in cine four, which is kind of nice, uh, but I still prefer S log two. Um, I tested out the slow mo, like if you set 1080p to 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second to see if it's sharper than 100 frames per second, it is sharper slightly, but not much. So don't worry about missing those frames just to get a sharper image. So I always go for 100 frames per second and I like to conform in camera using the high frame rate rather than conforming it later, it just saves me time and, and speed. Um, just lazy, but yeah. I've noticed no difference in sharpness, so might as well just conform it in camera. Um, lenses, I'm using the 50 mil, which has got OSS on it, keep it a bit more stable than normally so you don't get those jitters. And for wide gimbal work, I got a 16 2.8, which is Sony. Very annoyed that these are gray and not black. Didn't have them in stock. Um, I also got a Pentax, which is manual, and I got an adapter for that. Doesn't control the um, autofocus, maybe if I got a different adapter, but I want it manual anyways. Um, and I use a Lightcraft Workshop ND, and I've actually shot wide open, and I haven't got any color shifts, so it's actually quite good, which is surprising. Um, audio is a bitch. Um, no headphone jack, so that's a tricky one. Um, so at the moment I'm just using labs and I set it to about 20%, 18% in camera and it gets me no distortion, um, which is nice. So if you're doing labs, set it to about 18, 20% in the volume. Um, you could obviously put a Rode mic on there. I haven't tried that yet, so I don't know the volume settings without headphones. So unfortunately to start with, you're going to have to record, monitor it back, record again and see what levels work and don't get you distorted. And once you know that, you're going to be fine. Professional work, I wouldn't recommend it because you can you never know if there's like a weird clipping or a, a fuzz as you're on set and you can't monitor back and forth so i'm trying to find a little adapter to work but i got nothing to work at the moment that will click in there so uh that's about it for audio but it's amazing i mean the pictures are better on this than the a7s2 it's 24.2 megapixels the a7s2 was what 12 or 16 i can't remember but they weren't very nice so the pictures look quite nice out of this you did want to go full frame, just get your Metabones adapters and whack them on, but I quite like Super 35. Um, the viewfinder is okay. I wish it tilted a little bit. The screen is nice, but why are we making screens that don't want really to all the way around in case you want to do selfie work or interview work? A um, little bit annoying with that, but A7S2 is the same. Menu's still a bit annoying when you jump in, um, but I'm kind of used to it now. I'm kind of used to the buttons and setting up the custom buttons and things like that. Um, it's a great little camera. I really, really like it. Hopefully my gimbal arrives soon and I can do some tests with that, um, which I'm sure would be good. I'm probably going to go for the Kane TV single gimbal again because it was very nice. God knows why I sold it. Um, I just didn't expect this to come out. So I definitely recommend this camera, but NEB is around the corner and so is it probably another thousand cameras because Sony release them every couple of months. There's the new Canon, which is five axis, but we don't know if it's got good autofocus. Only 60 frames, not 120. Um, so yeah, I recommend it for under a thousand pound. Can't really go wrong. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps people out. I'll go over some footage and some test stuff. Okay, so we're here in Premiere and I got some footage I just shot on the A6300, just some little clips. And the S-Log2 LUTs. We're gonna click over here and we're gonna browse and we want just the base LUT. Now, works perfectly with that file. Everything looks good, blacks are nice, colors are nice, highlights are nice. Now say this file here, which you shot, because I've been getting a lot of people asking questions of 
um, it's too bright or it's too dark, I can't get the colors to look right. My quick fix that I find, um, this one is shot slightly more overexposed than the other one. So if I apply that same LUT, it's not gonna look the same. So it almost kind of like I didn't do much to it. Now my quick fix is I just leave it there and I just grab the exposure level and I just dial it down just a little bit. And to me that looks pretty good. So if you jump between the files, my computer's being a bit slow. That one matches pretty well with this one. So that's my quick suggestion. And obviously if it's a bit dark, then just raise the exposure. And if it's bright, dial the exposure back down. Because if you mess with curves, the file, the LUT already has curves on it. Um, you can do an adjustment layer and tweak it that way, but that's my quick fix is just to mess with the exposure. So whether you're in Final Cut, Premiere or Resolve, just mess with the exposure first and then dial everything else down or up, whatever you need. So I hope that helps. Free low camera.